With the Texas flash flooding, here is the setup. We had, believe it or not, Tropical Storm Barry, which a lot of you may not have even heard of. It quickly became a tropical storm, quickly moved on shore, dissipated, but it continued to pump moisture into East Texas. Not only that, we had a very weak steering flow as high pressure was building in, so we really didn't have those storms that developed getting moved much. The result, they stayed in one spot and dumped torrential amounts of rain. In parts of East Texas, this is just northwest of Austin, Texas, we had up to 22 inches of rain falling and in Kerr County, Kerrville specifically, that is where we had the devastating deadly flooding that happened uh, near Ingram. There's an Ingram Dam there. Uh, you have the Guadalupe River and we had about 15 inches of rain falling. The Guadalupe River tried to carry all of that water away and of course it moved right through Camp Mystic, other parts of Kerrville and the surrounding areas along the banks of the Guadalupe River. Now some of those camps were in higher elevations. Nobody lost their life. It was the one that was right along the river in a lower elevation where all of the death happened in uh, Camp Mystic. Well, let's talk a little about just flash flooding. What can you expect? What do you need to know? Just so that it's in the back of your mind to be prepared if it ever happens for you. Well, uh, along rivers, creeks, and streams, it's pretty obvious as the excessive rainfall happens, the creek streams and rivers are trying to carry it all away, and the water can easily overflow as it did along the Guadalupe and cause flash flooding, and that can happen very, very rapidly. That's why when you're getting heavy rain scenarios, you need to know where you live and how flood prone you are. Even in urban areas, Areas, uh, we can see water that uh, can penetrate soil easier than pavement and excessive rain can overwhelm storm drainage systems causing that water to rise. So a lot of different factors even if you live in neighborhoods and cities. So how much water does it take? Well, six inches of water, it's enough to sweep away a person. A foot of water, enough to sweep away a car. 18 inches of water, enough to sweep away a small truck. And keep in mind, in Kerrville, Camp Mystic, uh, along that part of the Guadalupe River, they had 25 feet of water, not inches, feet of water rushing through, sweeping everything out of its path. Flash flood watch versus a warning. A watch means conditions are favorable for flooding. Be prepared. A flash flood warning means it is imminent or happening and you need to take action to protect your life and your property immediately, mainly your life. So just some preparation tips before a flood. Know your risk. Are you in a floodplain? What's the flood history of your area? Check insurance for coverage of flooding. Clear storm drains of any loose debris. That is a big problem clogged up storm drains, huge problem with flooding, and then make sure you have uh, all your electronic devices charged and ready to go. One other uh, resource that I wanted to throw your way here locally is a resource that can take, if you live near a creek stream or river, uh, then uh, I've got South Chickamauga Creek pulled up just for an example, uh, but this resource will show you the flooding impacts when the creek is at certain levels. So for South Chickamauga, for example, you can't read this probably, but I'll read it for you. If floods stage is 18 feet and at 18 feet it says water begins to cross Maximith Road in Catoosa County and a lot of other things there. Then you get up to uh, maybe 22 feet. Uh, airport Road is closed to traffic. A couple of homes are still slightly flooded. And then we got all the way up to 28 feet. Major flooding occurs in areas around the airport in Chattanooga. Several roads are blocked, including Highway 153 near Shepherd Road. So these are the impacts. But this resource will have this for every creek and stream here in the Tennessee Valley, really all over the United States. If you go to Google, I'm going to make it really easy. Just go to Google. And if you type in or whatever your search engine is and you type in hydrology, South Chickamauga Creek, or hydrology, Lookout Creek, hydrology, and whatever the name of your creek or stream is, go to the National Weather Service resource and it will give you all of this information.